Hello students, a very good morning to all of you. Today in this video we will learn a new poem that is a lazy, the lazy frog from unit 5. Lazy frog, what do you mean by lazy? Lazy that means alsi and frog. You have seen frog? Here picture it is given. Picture of frog is given. Here you can see. Right? So, I hope that all of you have seen the frog in real life also. Uh, generally, we find fog in monsoon season. Right? Because they like rain. So, whenever monsoon season it is there, we can see frog. So, before we start poem recitation and explanation, here one question it is given. Let's discuss about that question. On a school day, that means whenever your regular school is there, that time, you are busy in studying, playing and chatting with friends, right? Whenever your school is going on, at that time, most of the time, you just remain present in the school and you are just busy with your study as well as playing and chatting with your friends. But when you have a holiday from school, what do you do? Maybe holidays are there, special occasions or festivals are there, Sunday it is there or Diwali vacation or summer vacation. At that time, you have free time, right? So, at that time, what you are doing that you have to tell me. Would you behave a little like the frog in the following poem? Here we have seen the title, the lazy frog. With the help of title, we can come to know that uh, poem it is of about lazy frog. Lazy that means alsi frog ke baare mein poem hai. To kya aap us frog ki tarah alsi ho, lazy ho, ya fir active. What you are doing during holidays or summer vacation or the valley vacation, what you are doing? Anything, activity which will help you? Maybe you are learning tables or learning new vocabulary or any activity, craft activity or you learn any cooking activity or any other thing if you are doing then you have to tell me that what you are doing during your vacation, how you spend your time, okay? Now let's start poem recitation. Fred is a very lazy frog who lolls all day upon a log. Along with me, you have to recite a poem and then I will explain. Okay? So, please sit along with your textbook and pick out page number 79, unit 5, The Lazy Frog. Fred is a very lazy frog who lolls all day upon a log. He always manages to shit. Doing a single stalk of work. His poor old mother calls in vain. Come in and help. He does not bother to move two inches, much preferring to be extremely hard of hearing. He lies there. In a silent heap and stays conveniently asleep. If a lady frog hoops past, you would think he would get up at least, or at last, you would think he would get up at last to go and help her. On her way. But no, I am ashamed to say that when a lady frog comes by, he does not open up 
one i and this poem that uh, who is a poet that we don't know so here it is written anonymous anonymous that means unknown person we don't know that who has written the poem so it is written anonymous now i will explain this poem fred fred it is the name of a frog fred is a very lazy frog fred what i'll see frog hair who lolls all day upon a log lol what do you mean by lol lol that means to lie around lazily aise alsi ban ke baith jana uska matlab kya hota hai alsi ban ke baithe rehna kuch kaam nahi karna hai aise hi baithe so who lolls all day upon a log log ke upar alsi ban ke baithe rehta hai log log means trunk of a tree that is just lying or that has been कट जो पेड़ होता है ट्री होता है उसका जो ट्रंक कट के काट के नीचे पड़ा हुआ होता है रखा होता है तो उसको क्या बोलते हैं लॉग लॉग दैट मीन्स ट्रंक ऑफ अ ट्री ही ऑलवेज मैनेजेस टू शेक शेक दैट मीन्स टू नॉट डू समथिंग यू शुड डू आपको जो करना चाहिए वो आप नहीं करते ही ऑलवेज मैनेजेस टू शिक डूइंग सिंगल स्टॉक ऑफ वर्क वो कुछ भी वर्क नहीं करता हिज पुअर ओल्ड मदर कॉल्स इन वेन हिज मदर इज ऑलवेज कॉलिंग बट इट इज इन वेन इन वेन इट इज अ फ्रेज मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इट इज यूजलेस मीन्स उसकी मदर उसको बुलाती रहती है कुछ काम के लिए लेकिन वो यूजलेस है मीन्स वो सुनता ही नहीं है कम इन एंड हेल्प ही डज नॉट बोदर वेन हिज मदर इज कॉलिंग फॉर हेल्प बट ही इज नॉट रेडी टू लिसन टू मूव टू इंच इज मच प्रिफरिंग वो दो इंच भी मूव नहीं कर ही is not moving at least two inches also to be extremely hard of hearing he lies there in a silent heap and stays conveniently asleep jab uski mother usko bulati hai to wo thoda sa bhi two inch bhi move nahi karta aur aise pretend karta hai that means aise dikhata hai ki use kuch sunai nahi deta wo शांति से साइलेंटली वो हिप के ऊपर बैठा रहता है पड़ा रहता है हिप दैट मीन्स पाइल्स दिस वर्ड वी हैव ऑलरेडी लॉन्ड जैसे टेकरी होती है माउंट छोटा सा हिल या माउंटेन सो उसको क्या बोलते हैं हिप एंड स्टेज कन्वीनियंटली अस्लिप ऐसे पड़ा रहता है जैसे वो सोया रहता है जब उसकी मदर उसको कुछ हेल्प करने के लिए बुलाती है एट दैट टाइम यू वॉज जस्ट स्टेइंग देर as if he is sleeping if a lady frog hops past you would think he would get up at last usko ye uh, frog jo hai wo log ke upar soya rehta hai pada rehta hai aur wo lady frog wahan se pass hoti wahan se jaati hai at that time we will think that if a lady frog is going so this fred this frog will just stand and show his respect towards this frog but he is not doing like this to go and help her on her way humko lagta hai ki wo usko greet karega aur agar kuch help chahiye to wo help bhi karega but no i am ashamed to say mujhe sharam aa rahi hai ye bolne mein that when a lady frog comes by he does not open up one eye again jo lady frog wahan se pass ho rahi hai wahan se jaati hai at that time that fred that frog was not just opening one eye so this is the poem i hope that all of you have understood this poem now let's see new words lol that means 
to lie around lazily. Log means trunk of a tree that has been cut. Tree ka jo trunk hota hai, wo cut kiya hota hai aur wo niche pada hota hai. That is called log. Shit. To not, to not do something you should do. In vain. That means uselessly. Prefer. That means like something better. Hard of hearing. That means deaf. That means not listening something. Or not able to listen. Go. To bend your head to show respect. To bend your head to show respect to someone. So, recite a poem and learn the new words and write all the new words one time with your neat and clean handwriting in your English notebook. Thank you. Have a nice day.